we're going to be doing some Ray Dunn inspired pieces. I just went to Walmart and picked up a couple smaller plates and one of these pitcher things. So I'm going to put pour on there. I'm not sure exactly what I'm put, going to put on the plates yet. These plates were only 88 cents. Um, it says they're durable scratch resistant stoneware. So I'm going to use my Cricut today and put some Ray Dunn on these pieces. Where I live, we don't have anywhere to buy Raydun. Apparently, I think like one of the flower shops in town is selling Raydun, but I'm sure that they want a freaking arm and a leg for it, just like everybody else does, unless you actually get it from Home Goods or TJ Maxx or wherever. But I have even went to the bigger cities around here, TJ Maxx and Home Goods, and I never find anything. The other day, I went to TJ Maxx and I found one item. That was actual Ray Dunn, and it was a piece that I didn't like. So, I'm kind of out of luck on Ray Dunn around here. Uh, I'm getting ready to take a trip to Michigan, and then on my way, I plan on maybe stopping at a few TJ Maxx or Home Goods on the way up or on the way back. Hopefully, I have time to do that so I can look around and maybe find the iced tea picture that I want. Also today while I'm using my Cricut, I might go ahead and use these canvases. I plan on writing something cute on them for mine and Jeremy's nightstands. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I like to do vlogs and stuff, but it's been real nasty outside, rainy, and so me and Mallory have just been staying inside and playing. But I will be getting back, back into some vlogs once the weather gets nicer. Today it's really nice, but I'm sick, if you can't tell. I've got a cold or something. I don't feel that great. <clears throat> but anyways, um, let's just jump right into this while Mallory's taking a nap. So here I just typed in Ray Dunn plates to kind of decide what I wanted to do. I didn't want them all to be the same because I just like mix match. And I totally forgot that I didn't have my Cricut app on my phone because I got a new phone. So I had to hurry up and download that so that we could do this project. So here I'm just cutting my vinyl. I try to make it as straight as I can. It doesn't really matter though. Um, I just use regular cling vinyl and here you can see my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting everything out for me. I just went on my Pinterest and found a picture of what I wanted to do for our nightstands and I did something that says you will forever and then the other one says be my always. I have always said that to Jeremy so that's what I decided to do. And here, I'm just gonna go ahead and weed it out. Sorry, the angle is kind of bad. Um, I always be really careful just because if you go a little fast at it, some of the letters could peel up or you could get some of the discarded vinyl stuck to the good vinyl and then you could ruin your whole project. So just be really careful whenever you're doing this. This is contact paper. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it over this and then make sure that it's all stuck really good. Cut it off of each other and then stick it onto the canvas. It was a little tricky to get it stuck onto the canvas. I had to work with it, but I got it on there and I think that it turned out really cute. Um, you'll see in the very end how I have the nightstand set up. These are not the nightstands that I want. <laughs> Whenever we moved from our old house to this house, I just picked those up from Walmart. It was something simple and fast. So I've been on the lookout for some old, like antique looking farmhouse nightstands and I'm still on the hunt. You can see I kind of had to work with the letters to make sure that they laid flat. Now it's time to cut out the Ray Dunn pieces. I did two yum, an eat, a dine, and a pour. And you'll see that, you'll see me putting those on later. 
Of course, you don't have to have a Cricut to do this project. You could have a silhouette or you could even just use a printer. Um, you could do that and then do the trace method. Um, you could look that up on Pinterest if you don't know what I'm talking about. And then you could paint it. I mean, you could even freehand these. Ray Dunn is never perfect. Also, I will mention that I'm not going to be eating off of these plates. I may use the pour pitcher like around Thanksgiving or something, but I don't plan on eating off of the smaller plates that I'm using on display on my dining room table. I do plan on using some, or getting some mugs and things like that later on down the road, and I probably will use those, but I'm not going to use the plates. Now, if you decided that you wanted to use a Sharpie for this project, then you could bake them and you could totally use the plates then. But vinyl on food and it being hot and stuff like that. So no, I'm not gonna use them. Also not dishwasher safe. <laughs> vinyl is definitely not dishwasher safe. I know a lot of people put stickers and things on their Yetis or just any cup, but I've had it come off in the dishwasher before. Whenever vinyl gets hot, it's very easy to come off. So just be aware. I forgot to mention that I just went on Google and found a Ray Dunn alphabet. And then I went on to my Cricut and cropped each letter that I needed. And that way I'll have them for future projects and for now, of course. People on Etsy also sell these stickers and they also sell um, like digital downloads for Cricut or Silhouette or whatever. So you could go that route as well if you don't wanna do what I did. Here I am just finishing up the last plate and then you're gonna see the finished product here in just a few seconds. I thought that this project turned out so adorable. I had been looking up YouTube tutorials on Ray Dunn and I love how my dining room table turned out. I also love the canvases that I made for our nightstands. Although I'm not obsessed with the nightstands that I have, those will be changing. I'm gonna be doing a room tour soon once I have our upstairs painted and everything together. So if you guys like this, be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thanks y'all.